And we are back. And you're probably wondering why we're in Aquila City. Well, that's because I just upgraded the ship a whole bunch. This... I changed it quite a bit. If you... <coughs> yep. If you, uh, remember, last time I wanted to uh, upgrade it so that it's... Hey, Barrett. Upgrade it so that it's, uh, could hold more crew members. I did that. I also upgraded a couple other things. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn around now. Hi, Barrett. Yeah, it's much larger than last time. <laughs> uh, did a technician just like sniffle at me? Yeah, it's much larger than last time. I still have I still have El Clasico right there. A good old gun arm with laser and lasers on it. I added two more weapons. These are EM laser. These are EM weapons specifically designed for uh, taking out sh uh, specifically designed for taking out uh, systems. So like I guess that they're like taking out like the sh they're like yeah, they're like uh, electricity shock weapons in a uh, FTL. I think. I don't know. I haven't used them. We'll test them out once we're in space. Uh, so now we finally have the uh, the three, all three weapon binds, which is nice. Our guns are, yeah, there's our, there's our physical gun up there. Uh, what else? I added a, like, a couple more. Well, it turns out that the uh, max crew capacity in this game is a lot uh, harder to figure out than just add more <laughs> crew crew sleeping quarters. There's, like, math involved. You have to, like, divide by, like, the number of things and, like, the lowest... The lowest amount is, like, the total amount or whatever. I... I don't know. And apparently... Hold on. There's a perk somewhere that lets you have more crew members. You know, now that I think about it, that feels like it might be in the, uh... I feel like it might be in the social. Uh. Companions, no. Wait, that's a that's an interesting perk. Companions gain affinity twenty five percent faster. That's interesting. Interesting. Uh, invest no, not investigation. Ship command. Okay, well. Yeah, this is the perk that I was talking about, but I didn't know it was first off in the uh, in the tree that I'm not using, and at the very end, so it's not that useful to me right now. At least I don't know. At least I know I don't need to waste perks on it. Yeah. Uh, shall we go inside, or do we want to? Let's go inside and take a look. So I. Yeah, I built this one in a very specific and fun way. The the full Mark VI, baby. Mm -hmm. Breathe in that technically suitable air. So we first enter in a in a stout Eklund three by one, all in one. As usual, as always, as whatever's floor thing. Same old, same old in here. Then we enter into one of these one-by-one one storerooms to be able to go into here, into my bedroom. So my bedroom is right here at the very back of the ship, which is pretty nice, I think. I don't know, it's kind of fine. I, I, my crew quarters are next to all the other ones. Well, no, actually, it isn't. You move over here, then we have a one by one, another one by one room, and then we uh, go up one, 
into the uh, command center, control room, whichever one this one is, I never remember. Enter into here, into the workshop. Here we have the cockpit. Forgot the name of it for a second, this is why I said it that way. And then we have the opposite end of the ship. Here's a crew living quarters. We go down, another one by one. Hey, and then, oh my god, it's a party in here. Good to see you again. Another three by one. Same as it is on the other side. I might switch that around so it's at least a different type of three by one. Another one by run storeroom. And then we have our crew quarters again. So yeah, that's the ship. It's built like a giant V. And I feel like truly, I feel like I keep saying this every time, but this truly feels like the, uh, the uh, layout for the ship from now on. Mostly because I don't think there's any other type of ship habitat that I could add that it would be new. Urban visited Aquila City once to consult with hey. him about the local wildlife. Options were pretty dire at the time. He always wanted to return to help more. Oh, well. You know what? We're here now. Uh, let's take a look at it from the from a uh, from a better perspective. You. Hey, what can I do for you? <laughs> I'd like to modify my ship. Sure. Please. How about it? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Let's go into that mode. There we go. So, let's get a top-down view and show you the path that I, we were taking. Here's the entrance. There's that three by one, one by one. Then there's my bedroom. And then we here's the. Then we go back to the three by one. Do we enter into a one by one under there? And then it's a two by two, two by two workshop. Yeah. You you you, you can see what we're doing here. I went back to the old uh, these ones because it felt like they fit this. I could I finally figured out how to place them without. I finally had enough money to be able to place a whole bunch of other shit around them. <laughs> Ooh. And for the first time ever, we can see that we have nominal ship flight check. All systems nominal. We no longer we have enough engines. Yeah. I really like this bit because it, it's really satisfying having these two cargo holds here. So I, yeah. Oh, as you can see, we do have a max crew of five. Turns out, putting more guns under your ship can increase the uh, max crew number somehow. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's nice. If I were to expand this, if I were to expand this, actually, I think I would change out these one by ones with two by twos or two by ones, so that you know they actually do something. These one by one rooms are not really. <laughs> doing anything except for just being structural. Ooh, here's a fun thing about this ship. The reason these are up here, if you place them back there, like I originally wanted to do, you get an error saying that the ship is too long now. There's probably a perk later on or something like that that lets me actually build longer ships, but for now, we'll have to deal with this. Anything else? I added a lot more windows around the place. I could... Put that there for now. Could theoretically get rid of that thing and put a, a forward-facing port right here. Wait, no, I can't. I thought that was a... Never mind. In the, in the original draft of the uh, first ship... In the original draft of this ship, there was a, a room that I had to that on uh all right shall we get to the real point of this episode though yeah except 
We're good. We're, I'm, we're gonna head back. We're gonna head back. To... Jemison to a new Atlanta City. I remember. Because the recent update came out... Kind of out of and them out of like nowhere, I think. I thought this this up certain update was like much farther out. And it's 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 the up it's the update that adds the vehicle that you can drive. I never in my wildest dreams thought this ever could be something that happened at a Bethesda game, and I'm so excited to happen. Well I say that, but you know, Fallout New Vegas Frontier has drivable cars. Anyway, Barrett, you have something for me? Like this. Enjoy. Oh, thanks. You have a good eye for this sort of stuff, whatever <laughs> this is. In my line of work, it's a requirement. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. Definitely, thanks. I almost didn't pick it up, but then I thought you might have a good use Depends for it. Depends on what it is. Whew. Glad I did. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. A oh, Reuben? Hey, Dusty. If you're ever thinking to yourself, ah, oh, I could really listen to Barrett's dulcet voice right now. Then instead of dreaming about me, stop by and say hello. Okay? Will do. <clears throat> anyway, he had it all. You just found a Reuben? Where did you find a Reuben? <clears throat> Come on. Yeah. All right, cool. I haven't actually flown this thing yet. Ooh, hold on. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, sure. Can we... See what crew members are here right now. Ezekiel's on the ship. Heller's on the ship. Lynn, unassigned, in Cydonia right now. Okay, she found her way back. Heller's on the ship. Uh, do I want you on the ship? I, I might want to leave that. Heller. Heller and Lynn. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. I feel like I want to have, like, all of my buddies on this thing. At least. I mean, Ezekiel and Rosie. I like having them both on the ship. Oh, what are you good at? Starship engineering, particle beam weapon systems, robotics, and gastronomy? Hmm. Alright, you know what? Well, you're not assigned here right now. You're a... The frontier. It's not, it's not the frontier anymore. Bosco, you're definitely coming with us. Sarah, definitely coming with us. And you're definitely coming... <laughs> At your current ship command level. You know what, Ezekiel? Ah. <coughs> oh, hold on. How many people do we have? We have Ezekiel. Rosie. That's one. That's only four! We have five max capacity! Does Barrett count? <laughs> Alright, fine. Whatever. I'm not getting rid of Rosie. Well, alright, let's get out of here. Let's fly back to Jemison. We'll buy the car. We'll see what needs to be done with it. And then we'll drive around for the rest of this episode. Alright, now it's... That's a proper looking ship. It's no longer the flying brick that it has been. Shield offline. Why? We have points. We have points. We have points put into our shield. Maybe it's just because. There we go. 
Uh, let's get out of here then. Uh, let's head back. If, if 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 I seem like slightly more frantic and hectic today, one of the reasons why is because I I woke up like thirty minutes ago. <laughs> Maybe that has something to do with it. To the Jemison. Then to just land here, set course. Jump. All right, everybody, buckle up. I keep forgetting to <laughs> say that beforehand. Pretty. Nice jump. We're this right is on time. Sarah, how the hell did you get here? Weren't you just on the lodge? Oh, we scan for contraband. There's nothing here. Scan complete. You are clear to land. I know. Uh, let's. Land at New Atlantis. Come on, I just want to drive the thing. I do. Got a moment? Blah. Let's catch up. I really want to, but I also really want to drive my cool ship. Any need some work done? I'd like to purchase a vehicle. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Explore planets with a vehicle. Your purchase will unlock access to your own vehicle hangar and automatically equip your ship with an REV-8. Purchase with 2250 bucks. Yeah. Wait, do I not have that? I need to sell $4,000 worth of items. 40. You know, the prices in this game, it's starting to make... Thanks for the... the city. Please keep How do you know I have a hat? That's nice. I like that. Okay. Uh... You know, my original statement about, like, <laughs> me translating this game's currency by just dividing by 10 or whatever I do... Starting to, like, make less and less sense price-wise. Eh, whatever. It's easier to... Visualize my head. There's Yo! A bit more. If you don't see what you want, feel I'm just oh, gonna please, sell everything I have to you right now. Oh, do I have anything to, to sell you? Definitely have some stuff in the fool. Alright, uh, sort by value. Uh, not selling that, not selling that. You could have that. You could have that. Not selling that. No. No. I like the power one. No. No. You can have those. I have these. These. Keeping that. Those. You can have those. Those. Hold on, wait. I know, I, yeah, there, well, these sell for nothing. Would you like a chicken tikka masala? Penicillin X. Would you like some of my six dollar beans? All right. Well, we got we got we got enough money in the end. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Yeah, yeah I, I need to go do this. I don't want to have. To, we're gonna only have ten minutes to uh, explore this place. Um, explore with the thing, car, episode. I just want to drive. I, I, I have to, I have to drive out a car before I die. Drive in a car. Mm -hmm. Whatever. You They're out of the way. The ships are getting 
got anything you need to By offer? Trade authorities are... Okay, no problem. 25? Nice How did I mess that up? Do I sell things to you? No, probably not. I don't even want it. Oh my god. I, this is this. You'll be scanned as you enter I've the done basically Please nothing this episode me. except show you guys my ship. Okay. No. You know, if I were a better YouTuber, I would have been more prepared for the start of this. You. If it belongs on your ship, oh, please take a look. Uh. Eh, eh. All right, what do we have to sell from the fool? Value. Oh, we were already looking through here. What do we have on us that's sellable? Ashton Tamer. No, because of Tonto. Yeah, we're using a different thing. Maybe I do want to sell this. What is this? Randomly applies bleed, concussive, and berserk. We're going to stick with what we got. I'll sell that. Uh, so the Kadama. Yeah, sure, that's fine. All right, we got all of her money. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, I. We have enough. <sighs> Desperately thinking about taking a perk that increases our sprint capacity. That feels like it's it's got to be like one of the tier one perks. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I wanted to do. I'm buying a car. Man, I even if I haven't even had breakfast today. Everything everything's bad hey, right now. What can I do? Vehicle. Okay, no problem. Yes, yes. You now have access to vehicles. The REV8 will automatically deploy next to your ship wherever you land. Visit a ship service tech to over any major port to manage your vehicles. Ooh, like, oh, I can change the colors. Don't want to do that yet. Wait, hold on. Okay, no problem. Its fire rate is 1.5. Energy damage is that. And armor is 25%. The retrievable exploration vehicle is a classic buggy from Nova Galactic's heyday. Light on protection, but very maneuverable. It's equipped with a laser turret. Oh, look. At hey, you two. Look at this thing. Oh man. All right, let's let's land somewhere where we can actually use this thing. I don't want to just drive around in the uh much fun as that was. It's good to be back. We're about to get back out. We're going to get even more back out than usual. No, Barrett, I don't have time to chat. We're gonna we're going on a buggy drive. I might have to spend the rest of next episode bu driving around in the buggy. At All this rate. Firing. Somebody re remember to Somebody remember to get the sh the buggy back onto the ship, right? Oh god! The fly right into the sun! Heller of a view from up here. Alright. Let's land. Next to the civilian outpost. Ah, the good old days. Remember when I used to have that ship last episode? Touching down. <laughs> oh yeah. Yo, that's a really a flying V. There's still some design. It, it, I'm still not perfectly content with the with the ship. All right. Sarah, you're standing at the. Yes. You're standing there like you want to say something. After you. No, thank you. Barrett. Why does it feel so ominous? Both of them like standing in front of me like 
like they had something to say. And I'm like ignoring them in favor of like my obsession right now. It feels like something bad's about to happen. Anyway, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this is actually a game! Is that a fucking... Spiro? Get away from that, huh? Get the hell away from that thing. <laughs> oh my god. Well, first off, the, uh... <laughs> it's weird that this thing has, like, a, uh... Has turning. Sometimes. I'm hitting, like... I'm hitting the the left and right strafe buttons right now, and all it does is make me just drive it like slight at a slight angle. He's like, I'm hitting the I'm hitting the W and A keys right now, and they just turn the wheels. You can only drive with the forward and back, it seems. So then, why would I give you the ability to do this? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, it is a boost as well! Oh, oh. Okay, well. Oh, and it has a boost as well. This is a nice... Is it, I, it feels baffling that I'm about to say this, but there, this is a really nice controlling vehicle in a Bethesda game by default. Oh, <laughs> Whee! Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, we can drive in first person. Okay. I... Oh, okay. Toxic gas vent. I typically love driving in first person. Especially like cyberpunk. But this feels... This I think this is a little too fast. It's a little too janky for that. Yeah, wait, this, I might have to be third person for this mode. You all dead? Scan you from out here? Ooh. It feels like that ominous thing is about to happen. <laughs> I never realized this planet was so pretty. Maybe it's it's just really swampy around uh, Atlantic City, New Atlantis. What is it called? <laughs> Atl that's a, that's not Atlantic City. <laughs> oh yeah, this is exploring just got infinitely better. Listen, I liked I liked our exploring jaunts. Where we, I just walked for like five minutes straight, desperately. Let's talk. When you have time, of course. Sorry. I was lost in a memory. And we have lift off. Oh, God. I like how the com companions like have things to say like when you're driving as well. That's nice. I like, I like, hold on. What is that unexplained geological feature? Is that way? Oh, my. What is this? The red rock area. Yeah. Uh, I'm the one driving right now. Oh god! I can only imagine actually being in this thing. We'll take a look at that later. Right now, I'm driving. This thing is nice to drive. I keep saying that. Let's get out there and do something new today. Shall we? We are! This is the newest thing we've ever done! Drive a car! We've driven a spaceship, but a car? Oh boy. Oh yeah, this this thing. Kinda reminds me of oh Kinda reminds me of like a better version of like driving the Borderlands cars almost. Maybe not a better version, but like a slightly different version of the Borderlands cars. Yeah, I like this. Thing. I cannot wait to see what modders do once they get, well, once they, modding gets really up to snuff in this game. I know they've already added, added in like a 
dozen other like sci-fi vehicles you can drive around. And there's like the Warthog and the Mako. Those are both series I have. Oh! Well, this feels like a good as good a point as any for a uh, <laughs> next time on. We'll deal with these people next time on. We'll drive around a little bit more and we'll get back to the main quest. Okay, hold on. Let's drive away before she tries to talk to us more. Before she initiates. See you next time. Why am I the only one in our suit? Now we are. See you next time. <laughs>